first week and I haven't done the intro to this vlog but basically today we're going to explore the difference between street art and advertisements that are going up in Bushwick which is an issue that I realised as I was researching about what to do in Bushwick so hopefully we find some good examples <laughs> basic history of Bushwick is that this is guy who founded the Bushwick Collective basically opened up walls for people to do graffiti in in Bushwick and, and that kind of brought like the crowd in now you see the thing is that like what happens when a place gets popular and the rich people start moving in is that advertisers want to come in so like what I've seen so far is Adidas I've not seen Nike though, I've seen a lot, lot of Adidas and a lot of random like things that aren't related at all to Brooklyn or Bushwick are here. You see the thing is it's not that like cutting out capitalism completely from Bushwick would be a good idea but like come on like what do we lose because you know there is limited wall space and with every new advertisement that goes up covers up the street art where, where is the space for the artists to present themselves anymore shooting on scene is obviously I will never be as, as coherent so here's trying to tie up things I watched this documentary about Bushwick and the graffiti and the street art and how advertising has coming in, is coming into Bushwick and how Bushwick is getting, getting more gentrified basically Bushwick used to be a really really dangerous place to live where it was filled it was a very um, African-American rich area that now is filled with so-called hipsters and, and other artists and, 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 and people like that who are, who are moving into Bushwick when previously they were in Williamsburg basically because rent is cheaper. Anyway, the, the whole premise is that the Bushwick Collective goes around painting graffiti on, 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 on the walls of, of business owners for free uh, to, to sort of promote uh, graffiti as an art form and also provide a platform for people who want to pursue graffiti to express themselves. So today when I went, I just wanted to see like could I see a clear divide between um, gentrified and non-gentrified Bushwick and to be frank with you, as I walked around, I, I walked around the entire place la, and it was quite obvious where the tourists like the imaginary tourist line ends and where does the real bushwick start and in a sense i find it i found it i found it nice that these two things can coexist but i think if i were a local from bushwick i would feel the threat of the tourists coming into my space i mean you can look at it positively and say that that brings business around but i don't know how much they are really benefiting from it Okay, just watch the just watch the rest of the vlog. I saw the street where everyone was Hispanic going to the gentrified areas and honestly you can see the divide. It's it's an obvious, a very obvious line where 
where does the push week of the locals start and where does the push week, the tourist push week end? It is kind of sad, but that's what's going to happen to you, right? I don't know, more and more parts of the world. It's something to think about. Thank you.